Hello, welcome to this presentation. My name is Sir Morris Dimba. Today I'm going to rush you through the quickest way on how to create a trust. Of course, only what you require is the trust specifications. And let's kick off right away by first of all editing this grid. We need a span there of 12 meters. 12 meters. We need a span of 12 meters here. Double span. We'll change all these heights. Our first height will be 7 meters. 7 meters. Our second height will be 10.5. 10.5 meters of course this alphabeticals will be, will be increased okay this remain at as uh, 123 we'll remove this from negative 450 we'll feed our first height of 7 meters here our second height of 10.5 here 10.5 before you click modify make sure everything you fed here is right and absolutely correct in accordance to what you expected to see I'll accept that I'll close that fit that to entire model area create views along the grid lines Create grid one, grid A, and grid J. Ac uh, accept that, close that. Switch back to uh, your isometric view. Go straight to column creation by going to steel. Place your column there. You need to change the profile. Your column must start from zero level. Your height is seven meters here. You change this to IPE or any beam size or column size of your preference. I prefer that. I'll give it 400. 400, I'll apply and accept. Before I give an OK here, I need to change the orientation of this. I'll give it back. Perfect. Exactly what I want. I'll come to Applications and Command. I'll type cap there. I need a cap plate. I'll click that. Click on the column. Go to the middle point of this column and place it there. Right click. Double click on this pl plate. Come to Parts. Change the thickness there to 16 millimeter. Change the length to 450. Modify and apply and accept. Copy this, right click copy. From there to here and same to that spot. Right away we are going to create our truss. But prior to that we need to place some guidance, guiding points there. Right there and right there. The other end to come to points right there and right here. Close this. Come to applications and, and component, type truss. Truss. Right there. Snap right there. And snap right here. Lights wait. 
is our truss. We we'll close this. We we'll come to view, come to navigate, rotate with mouse. This is our truss. Click on it, right click, click move. Snap down here, the middle point is there. Bring it on top here. There you are. Double click on this, on the truss, come to parts. First of all, change this. We need, we need one meter there. We need 50 here, just for me, but I don't know your specifications. But this is my preference. I need 100 here. I need 100 here. I need a hundred here, hundred there. I'll place fifty here. I'll place a hundred here. I'll come to parts. I need top cord and bottom cord to have the same uh, member profile. I'll come. I'll click on that radio button. I'll go to RSA. I'll pick 75. 75 by 60 by, by 50 by 8 millimeter thick. I'll apply that. Same here. Same here. 75 by 50 by 8 here also I'll place here 80 uh, not uh, 60 by 60 by 8 millimeter thick it's good for us apply that same down there RSA let's click that come to 60 60 by 8. Apply that. Just continue. RSA 60 by 8. Just continue. RSA. There you are. 60 by 8. You'll apply that. The last one. RSA. Come to 60. By 8 thickness. I'll accept that. Now you'll come here. These are the spe specifications of the struts. These ones that supports the bottom and the top cord. Now, the number of these struts are, co are controlled here. Here are called, they are called diagonals. Uh, and also, if you want a twin bottom cord and a top cord, it's changeable here. You just click this down arrow here and click yes. They'll be double. Now here, we'll change all this to a number we require. We'll feed here, two by one. Come there and place two by one. Here we'll place one by one and two by one. Two by one, down here the same. Two by one and two by one. Same two by one. Same all. We don't want this. 
the verticals will remove that we'll change these profiles we'll give it that profile that profile for top code and this profile for bottom code for struts we'll give that and this nothing else remaining you can choose how your truss will appear but this is not compulsory the couplets we don't need the couplets at the end here this end we'll just place plain and that's all check before you give an okay what we are forgetting is the height of the truss we need 350 here 3.5 perfect We'll go ahead and click on OK. Apply and accept. This is our truss. We draw that. What you do, copy this, right click, copy, from this spot to this spot. Redraw the touching here, which is not right, come to view, rotate this, click on this member right click give it a move command from here to here by 50 and accept same right click there give it a move command from here to here 50 and enter that You are good to go for now. Right click and redraw. If you want to check the connection top here, you can check for the top cord. This connects automatically. But we have big options here. If you want this to be connected by gusset plates, you just come here and place gusset plates. They connection will be done instant instant and a little of modification will be done by you but for now i want just to show you on how to quickly create your truss we will come to that extensively and giving much detail on how to connect to, on how to connect our struts with the bot with the bottom and top cord but today I want, I want just to show you on how to generate your truss so quick. Now, here is our truss. You just highlight everything. Right click. Special copy, linear. And type negative. Six, millimeters, six meters you need nine of them and click copy it's perfect and it has been done accept that come to navigate rotate with mouse click there rotate redraw this This is the quickest way to create your truss. Very quick. Turn this round.
remember you can join this by 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 weld options are very main here weld or gasset plates i'll go into detail on the next presentation today is just to quickly create your truss by only entering the specifications of your truss i'll close this my name is Amoris Dimba. thanks a lot for watching this channel and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you let's meet on the next presentation